you know, obviously disappointed. I mean, we, we, we didn't come up here to, uh, to make a run in the second half. We, we, uh, uh, just, we, 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 uh, our guys, they, they were excited about the opportunity and, and, uh, uh, but we 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 did two things bad that you can't do against Alabama. Never guard the dribble. Uh, we never they they attack you off the bounce from multiple places, and we we never had a single guy on our team just be able to control the guy off the bounce. And then we turned it over fifteen times in the first half. And uh, you know when you do that, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to beat a top twenty team in the country, a team that's uh, that's as good as Alabama. Um, you know, on senior day, on a sold-out building, it's uh, we put ourselves in a tough spot the way we played on it. Michael? Uh, Frank, Eric was talking about it. it. seemed like guys might have been, he used the word lackadaisical or maybe lacking some fight a little bit in the first half, especially defensively. Is, is that what you saw? And, and kind of, I guess, maybe what was the message at, at halftime and going into that? Yeah. yeah, they definitely played faster than we did. And, you know, when I mean fast, I don't mean running the court. I mean, just defensively, offensively, their cuts. Um, we had some guys that, that were not playing at the same speed Alabama was playing with. And that, you know, that's that's disappointing, man. That's because we we uh, we start older players. We don't start freshmen. We, uh, um, you know, I thought, uh, like, you know, I'm going to pick on him. I thought Devin in the first half didn't play at the speed that Alabama was playing with, and he struggled. Uh, but he's a freshman. Um, you know, I thought he played better in the second half, but, but, you know, we started an older team and, and we just, uh, we like, I'll give you a quick example. Um, we, we know that they're a very good offensive rebounding team. And in the first two possessions, they had three offensive rebounds. That that's, that's sole effort. Yeah. And, and, you know, it didn't help. Wilden's getting hit in the head. It didn't help with take long, picking up a couple fouls early. Um, you know, so but it is what it is. We we didn't play well enough to win. Bottom line, I'm, I'm I like our team's awesome. I really enjoy our guys. I I mean, you know, we we uh, uh, we 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 put up a fight in that second half. Uh, ran ran out of steam a little bit, uh, but uh, uh, I you know just disappointed. Losing games is not fun. I I I don't. You know, I, I'm not one of those guys that always has a silver lining for a loss. I, you either win or you lose. This isn't gymnastics. This isn't diving where, where you know, style counts. Uh, this is win and lose. And you, you win by one, you're, you're in a good mood. You lose by 100, you feel just as bad as if you lose by one. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, losing stinks. Corey? Yeah, Frank, obviously the, the second half of that first half, you had you guys had to play uh, without TQ because of foul trouble. And obviously Wilden's got smacked in the head as well. Um, how much did that, how much did that change um, what you guys were trying to do on both ends of the floor with both of those guys not in the game for you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, offensively, you, you know, those two guys, I, I mean, I – they combined for like two or three rebounds. So it's not like those two guys played well. Um, um, you know, and we, we, uh, we, we, our bigs have to help us. I mean, I, 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 I'm not trying to pick on anybody. They got to help us. They can't, you know, they can't play whatever number of minutes and collectively grab four rebounds. That, that, that's not acceptable. It's, uh, uh, but you know, that's, that's the, the, you know, those are the guys we got. They've helped us win 17. You know, we need them to, to prepare the right way and help us win on Tuesday at home in our senior night. Michael? Um, two things you know, along those lines, talking about bigs. I, you know, Josh Gray played, played a few minutes tonight. Curious what you saw out of him. And then also it seemed like, you know, Keyshawn, it was kind of a difficult night for him, um, you know, especially scoring. Just kind of curious what you saw, if it was something that the Alabama was doing with, with him. No, it, it's not that they did anything special. I mean, um, you know, other than that stretch in the second half where if you don't defend, you can't get out in the open court. You, you can't. And then they shot 23 free throws. So we were taking the ball out of the net after free throws for a big portion of the game. And, uh, um, you know, and if you're not going to – if you don't defend and then on offense you turn it over 15 times, it's really hard to score any points. I mean, Keyshawn played better in the second half. Why? Because – we didn't turn the ball over 15 times. You know, we actually ran some of the stuff that we practiced and tried to, to, to put in the game plan to, to attack today. And, 
you know, and early in the game, we didn't run anything. You know, we just kind of stood around. Everything we said, don't do on offense, kind of what we did from a spacing standpoint. Um, and, uh, you know, when you do that, it's easy to defend people. You got bad floor spacing, and, and and now you got guys standing around looking at each other, and the ball didn't move. And so you end up with turnovers, and that's what we did. Phil? Yeah, hey, Frank. Um, what, 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 flip, what switch was flipped there in the second half that got you guys um, underway and got that run going, number one? And number two, during the winning streak, you had so much positive momentum going. How do you regain that? for the LSU game and for the trip down to Auburn? Yeah, I mean, Phil, it, it's not like we we went to my high school and lost to a junior varsity team. We lost to a top 20 team in the country that go look at the teams they've beaten in non-conference play. I mean, they, they're really good. They, you don't lose momentum because you lose a game. Uh, you know, we've won seven of our – well, seven of our last 11 now. Uh, we, we, you know, we don't – like – you, you don't wake up and like last year's team had no chance to win. We had lost our fight and we lost our fight in late January. We had no chance to win. This team's got a lot of fight. We, we're not going to lose our fight because we lost the game. We're, we're going to show up tomorrow. We're going to work and we're going to do what we've done all year. And, and that doesn't guarantee winning, but, but this team's going to be who they are. And, you know, we, we you know, it's, uh, um, let's not act like this is a team that, that, like doesn't deserve to win. Like, come on, man. It's uh, we're 500 in the best league in the country. Uh, we we've won 17 games. We're right there. We just got to go practice the right way and go win at home. We're, you know, it's uh, uh, you know, it's not like we're scrambling because we dislike each other. Uh, it's we're in a good place. We, we we're not going to lose our mojo because. And if someone in the locker room doesn't want to act that way and they want to bring some pouty, selfish stuff, I don't have to do a thing. There's 13 other, 14 other guys who will tell that guy to go take, go fly a kite and throw him out of the locker room. So uh, it's, uh, I got a fun group.